Hi, I'm Andre. I'm going to show you how to make a hinged swinging door. So let's see how this works. So we have a door that swings on one side and if you let it go it comes back but it doesn't swing on the other side. Okay, and this does the same thing but it's just vertical. So we just rotated the actor. So you can use this if you want to limit where the player can go in a game. Uh, when it passes this door, uh, it cannot he cannot go back or he has to use a blocking object like this to block it in place. So yeah, you get the idea. So let's create an actor. Like this. So we'll use two static meshes and a physics constraint. So one gonna use a cube for the panel and the other it's the hinge that we're also gonna use a cube but we're gonna replace the mesh with a cylinder and this you can uh, get from the uh, default assets so let's scale this 0 0.2 like this and the panel will scale the y-axis 0.1 and we'll also have to move this like this and let's also add the physics constraint And let's add the object. Okay, sorry about that. That was not a physics constraint. This is a physics constraint. So let's add the objects to the physics constraint. Hinge and panel here. Now because the panel is moving, we have to simulate physics. And we'll also have to disable the collision between the two so in the physics constraint check disable collision like this now we'll have to limit the rotation of the panel so in the physics constraint uh, the linear limits leave them locked and then lock the angular limits and unlock the swing one motion so that will give us a rotation of 45 degrees left and right as you can see here around its original position and uh, <coughs> we also have a soft constraint for the limits so when it reaches this limit uh, there's a there's a spring that comes in action to make it come back to this a range so I would say put this really high because we don't want the player to be able to push that um, uh, beyond this limit but we we'll leave this in because it will look more naturally so let's see how this goes we'll drag this in and if we drag the door You can see that it rotates freely in the range that we defined and uh, it stops at the limit. Now if we want this to come back to its original position in the physics constraint we activate uh, an angular motor. So we'll do swing here because we have a swing motion like this. Leave the target orientation to zero and put this higher to 100, say. And we'll also activate target velocity and leave it to zero and one here. And this, this will dampen the movement. Okay, so if you try it out again, 
if we grab the door it will rotate and come back to its original position here so let's say we put this the rotation limit to 90 like this and if we put another door I actually get a fun thing I get the uh, doors that you see in uh, western movies in a saloon at the entrance of the saloon that's a fun, fun thing okay now what if we want to limit the movement of the door only at 90 degrees like this so e the door cannot go beyond this point it can only go this way to 90 degrees and not more so for that we're gonna have to so because the physics constraint does not allow to uh, control the limit of rotation to left and right individually we just have um, we just have a um, uh, limit for the two angles which is here we're gonna have to rotate this at 45 put this at 45 like this so now it can rotate at 90 degrees 45 left and right so we're gonna rotate this like this 45 degrees so just put here minus 45 and we also have to rotate the mesh now the physics constraint we've just rotated because it it's just better to have it like that but it's not we could have left it there and because it's only the rotation and position of the, the panel into uh, to the relation of, of the hinge that counts not the position and rotation of the physics constraint but it's just better to put it like this because it's easier to visualize now let's rotate the panel now because the uh, the pivot of the panel is here because we're using a simple cube we're gonna have to rotate it and translate it because it should be like this but if we just rotate it minus 45 it will rotate around its center now if you do this just use a panel that has its pivot here so we just rotate it simply but because we need to also translate it we'll look from the top because it's easier like this and just translate it here okay let's go back to perspective and now it's in the right position if we select the physics constraint we can see the limits so it can go from in from the middle it can go left 45 and right 45 now in order to make it come back to this position here we're gonna have to modify the target orientation so on the z-axis we'll put minus 45 like this and it will try to stay here so let's see so you can see these already um, um, we can already see the change okay as now as you can see you can move one like this and because they're rotated towards each other they are the other direct they go the other direction okay but this one cannot go that way and this one cannot go that way okay so now the only thing left to fix is this what you see here the the door is all it's a uh, when we start the game the door is going to be in this position and not the position that it, it's trying to get in so if we want to change the, it's not it's not mandatory but if you want to change this 
what we're gonna do is actually place it place it at the beginning of the game right here and if I begin play we'll take the panel and we'll change its rotation uh, let's say transform no we'll set rotation and location eh, well this one is more easy to use like this now because we're setting its world location and rotation we'll have we're gonna have to um, transform the, from relative to world so we'll take actor transform get actor transform like this and then transform rotation like this and one it's rotation and the other one it's going to be location so we plug this in like this okay so the so here Because we're using again because we're using a cube and it has its pivot here instead of here we're gonna have to also set the location because normally you will just set the rotation you just set the rotation to zero because now it's 45 you set the rotation to zero and it should you shouldn't need this the location but because we have this case let's see where the door should be so the rotation should be zero 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 like this and the location so let's put zero here the location will be 50 and minus zero and we'll put this to zero okay so let's go back leave it to that so here we'll put 50 0 and actually the z location should also be 50 okay so again you only need to do this location part if you don't have the pivot of the panel in the right place so if we play again we can see that the doors already are already in the right position so let's try let's move them yes let's move them a little bit so we can see them well actually we can simulate so you can see this clearly so if you simulate this so the doors are already there when the game starts and they don't wobble that is different to this situation where if you look closely they start, the door starts here and goes to the desired location so this is it for the hinge door I hope this has been useful if you have uh, comments or questions leave them below and don't forget to subscribe